Hello, my name is Carly Snyder, and I'll be presenting research that was conducted along with Dr. Shane Robinson, Craig Edwards, and Rob Terry at Oklahoma State, assessing curricular needs of ag education student teachers regarding their ability to teach the national AFNR career pathways. And so the need for this study comes from some overwhelmingly known information, and that's that agriculture is essential to all aspects of the world. However, as society has changed, uh, a disconnect has formed amongst the public and the agriculture industry. And so one solution to kind of fill in these gaps is through school-based agricultural education programs. However, we know that in order for that to be a successful solution, we need competent ag teachers. And specifically, we need these ag teachers to be competent and knowledgeable to teach within the AFNR career pathways. And so um, this curriculum framework serves as a basis of showing eight primary content areas that ag teachers need to be competent and knowledgeable to teach in their classrooms. And so theoretically, this study was undergirded in Bandura's self-efficacy theory. Bandura states that self-efficacy can affect uh, the competence or ability of someone to perform a task. And so we looked at two primary sources of efficacy, and that's performance accomplishments and vicarious experience. The purpose of this study was truly to identify um, what are the self-perceived levels of importance or, or value being placed by these student teachers within those pathways? Where do they perceive themselves to be competent to teach it? And to use that information to determine what need exists for competence enhancement for this cohort uh, regarding those pathways. And so we utilized a convergent parallel mixed method study to allow us to simultaneously collect data qualitatively through interviews and quantitatively through questionnaires in order to perform or, or form a more holistic interpretation of this data. And so we found that ag teachers, uh, student teachers, perceived that all of these pathways were important, quite a bit important to teach, uh, specifically food products and processing being the most important and biotechnology being the least. Within their self-perceived competence, they uh, found that they were some to quite a bit import, uh, competent to teach them, uh, saying that they're most competent in animal systems and least in power structure and technical systems. This information was utilized within Vorich's needs assessment model to calculate mean weighted discrepancy scores and identify three primary categories of enhancement needs. And so category one being a high need for power structure and technical and biotechnology systems. Category two, a moderate need of enhancement for ag business, food products, and environmental service. And finally, a lower need for animal systems, plant systems, and natural resources. It can be concluded that the personal interest and self-determined strengths of these student teachers was the most substantial factor affecting where they placed value or what level of importance they gave to each of the eight pathways. Likewise, in their self-perceived competence, this was um, primarily affected by the interests they held and as well as the experiences, personally, professionally, and academically, that they've had relating to each of those content areas. And so competence enhancement is found to be needed within power structure, technical, biotechnology, and agribusiness systems based on the student teacher's levels of competence within those areas. And this can occur through academic, professional, or, or personal experiences uh, happening related to those areas. It's recommended that a longitudinal study be conducted for this cohort of student teachers to assess how their competence progresses throughout their career as ag teachers. Um, additionally, to investigate uh, what are the specific competencies that exist within each of those eight pathways and for coursework and experiences to be encouraged or even required amongst student teachers in ag education and pre-service ag education students in order to enhance their competence and exposure to each of those content areas. Finally, um, other universities and teacher preparation programs in ag education would benefit from assessing their own content and competence needs uh, related to what their pre-service teachers um, are able to do uh, as far as teaching those eight AFNR pathways goes. Thank you.